This may or may not be a good one. It probably will though. So we go down, look at these units here and go to the list and then go over here. Yes, that is annoying and no, I can't drag the bar. <laughs> so I got a U9, got an A0 here, but whenever there's a lot of weird stuff going on, I typically focus on whatever I think is the brunt of the problem. And then it's possible that some other things might clear themselves up once we get this taken care of. But this has to do with a communication fault between the indoor and outdoor units. Now, this is a very, very big system out here. So I've got a bunch of units on this, on that adapter, and on that adapter. So how do we know which one to hook into? I'm going to go here and go to details and you can see port three. Well, this is port one and that's always gonna be port one because that's the central controller. Then I've got port two and this down here is port three. So I'm gonna get my F1, F2 hooked up and then I'm gonna go get on the computer in another location and we're going to take a look at this system. So you can see my entire system is in alarm. But of the indoor units, see these are on, this one's off, and this one has an error code. So I'm probably going to focus on this. Now, Daikin software is unbelievably bad. <laughs> and this table was just developed through a lot of um, painstaking process of figuring out uh, which unit corresponds to what. Uh, see, these are air nets in here. And then these are going to be group numbers. So 1 0. Well, uh, 48 is going to be. 3-14. So here we go. Here's here's group 314. I don't have air nets for these. Um, and it's going to be this stat here, which is probably in a hallway. Well, I think I've found the wired remote here. So in order to get into the settings, the screen has to be active. Press that once. And we're going to hold it. Now, if I go down here, the air net matches up. Here's our unit right here, and I've got lots of water in that pan, so there's two problems here. One is that I've got a condensate issue. Ooh, God. Man, that makes me nervous. <laughs> Ugh, afraid that whole thing's gonna dump. But anyways, um, the other problem is this unit should not shut down the entire system. So I have a feeling the condensate switches were not done correctly. There's our culprit right there. Now, these drains do not fail often. The pumps don't either. Uh, when you have this kind of water and you see you've got a refrigerant leak, then what I've seen a lot is that the oil gets in the drain pan and it will eat that plastic out. So most likely we're dealing with a um, drain pan issue. Now I, I might be wrong. I gotta see if the condensate weight condensate switch is supposed to go here at the four stop but I was thinking that this was more of a smoke alarm type deal and the condensate switch is just supposed to create a condensate error on the unit I, I gotta look into that and see what the deal is all right so I was correct there is a jumper either this connector or that connector that disables 
the connected indoor unit only and this is the key now if you do it up through this t1 and t2 you see that safety opens up a0 the rest of them go into u9 and the outdoor unit shuts off even though you can do this you shouldn't you should never do this um, unless you're doing some kind of fire safety thing but the a0 like I did notice that in the list of U9s. Um, and I, I honestly, I, I should have picked up on that. Okay, so it turns out that this is X15A. These units are always hard to work on. I mean, just not made for American meat hands. <laughs> but this is the factory float switch, which is right in there. So a great option would be just to break this with that right there. Let me show you one more thing that's very helpful because there's, you know, been so much confusion with everything on the central controller addresses and all that crap, just to make sure that we're on the right unit for this air net. We force the fan on like that. I can hear the fan running up there. So this nav does go to that unit that we've been working on. All right, so the unit's out of alarm and it's gonna run. I have to go run a service call. I've been on call this week and been fucking destroyed. Just one thing after the other, <laughs> it's bad luck. But uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm gonna check the pump. Um, I'm gonna check that flare nut for leaks and you know, just, just do some things that I would need to do in order to follow up with this and get everything right. But um, that's pretty much it for the diagnostic on the U9.